okay uh, welcome again this is the second part of the first lecture the portrait of a lady so far we have learned that the physical appearance of the grandma has been given how they were bonded together what was the routine in the village and uh, when once they came to the city how the situation started turning back and the grandmother was very much distressed by the syllabus that her grandson was learned this is the second part when i went up to university i was given a room of my own now see this is the clear separation between the two earlier what was happening they were staying together they were laying together in the same room though grandmother was very much distressed that she could not help this child in his school education but at, at least they were sharing the same room but what is happening now when grandson khuswan singh he went to university he was given a different room so there was common link of friendship that was also broken the common link of friendship was snapped it was broken here snap means it was broken my grandmother accepted her seclusion with resignation dadi ma je hata ne accepted the seclusion seclusion means a lonely panu je hatu ekalta je hati ave ekla je revano to she accepted with resignation she resigned means ave koi matha jik na kari okay what is there no problem chokro moto thai gyo che ke he must be having his own room and she accepted this seclusion with resignation koi kach kach kai raha vagar bad badat vagar willingly that is resignation ene a ekalta ne swikar le di she rarely left a spinning wheel to talk to anyone now what was the routine the routine has changed now dadi ma ave che ne spinning wheel you understand charkho rentio e j satat santat chalaiva karta tha and uh, hardly she had time to talk to anybody in the family not to her son or uh, the son's wife or the son's son that is grandson right from sunrise to sunset she sat by her will spinning and reciting prayers so this is the routine you will be asked what is the routine of a grandma in the city to sunrise to sunset sudhi दादी में शू करता शी यूज टू स्पीन शी यूज टू स्पीन शी यूज टू रिसाइड द प्रेयर्स हमेशा चरखोज कांटा करता था रेंटियों कांटिया करता था प्रेयर्स गाया करता था ओनली इन द आफ्टरनून शी रिलैक्स्ड फॉर अ वाइल टू फीड द स्पेरोस सेकंड बाबत शू आए आफ्टरनून दिस इज अ रूटीन set by the will spinning reciting another thing second theme in the afternoon she relaxed for a while and during that time what she will do feed the sparrows gamda ma hata tyare shu karti thi she used to feed the dogs street dogs with the stale chapatis but here dogs are not found and she is not moving up the out of the house so in the courtyard she used to feed the sparrows while she sat in the veranda breaking the bread into little bits hundreds of little birds collected around her creating a very table bed lamb of chirpings dadi ma shu karta while she sat in the veranda breaking the bread pili rotli hoy ena e tukda karta breaking the bread into little bits le na 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 tukda ho karta ત્યારે શું બનતું હંડ્રેડ્સ ઓફ લિટલ બર્ડ સો મેની લિટલ બર્ડ સ્પેરોઝ કલેક્ટેડ રાઉન્ડ હર ક્રિએટિંગ અ વેરિટેબલ બેડલમ ઓફ ચિટપિંગ્સ અને એ બધા ભેગા થઈને વેરિટેબલ મીન્સ રિયલ બેડલેમ મીન્સ ગ્રેટ નોઈસ રિયલ ગ્રેટ નોઈસ ઓફ ચિરપિંગ્સ ચિરપિંગ યુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ ચી 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 ચકલીઓ જે કરતી ને એવું એક વાતાવરણ ઊભું કરી દેતા કેટલી બધી ચકલીઓ આસપાસમાં ભેગી થઈ જતી રાઉન્ડ હર 
creating really a bedlam of chirpings. Some came and perched on her legs. Perch here uh, set. Kedlika avati ena pagu par besti. Others on her shoulder. Some will be found sitting on her shoulders. Some even sat on her head. She smiled but never showed them away. So you understand? Avata em kari kari jene aga karta and that is showing them. So many sparrows were there. So many were sitting on her legs. Others would sit on her shoulder. Then some will sit on her head also. She always smiled. She never showed them away. It used to be the happiest half an hour of the day for her. And Dadi Ma looked very happy for this half an hour period in the whole day. So that was the great routine for her. So, Suppose you ask what was the daily routine of grandma in the city house. So, now you can understand what was it. She sat by her will, spinning and reciting prayers, right? She was always spinning, she was reciting prayers. So, that is the first routine. Second, Tamare a description deva no sheke, Ardhi kalak no peloje samay hato. Uh, chaklao ne, birds ne khodao no. So, she sat in the veranda, right? Breaking uh, the bread into little beads. And there were so many little birds collected uh, around her, creating a real bedlam of chirpings. <coughs> they were found sitting on her leg, sometimes on the shoulder and even sometimes on her head. And uh, Dadima was always smiling and never uh, sued them away. And this was the happiest half an hour of her day. When I decided to go abroad for further studies, and then university education in India is over, right? And uh, the writer has decided to move abroad for further studies. I was sure my grandmother would be upset. See, this is the supposition of the writer. The grandmother would be upset, but it has never happened so. I would be away for five years. And at her age, one could never tell what the writer is telling. Mane matu ke dadi maache ne e khub upset thi jaise once I declare that I have to go to abroad for further studies, but it has never happened. The writer was sure also that grand grandmother was uh, would be upset. It has not happened. Ane have e kya chhe? I would be away for five years. So, Paach was Sudhi Durvais. And at her age, one could never tell. Means, once I come back after five years education, Dadi Matiare Jivta Hoi, Kerna Hoi, we cannot tell because grandmother is very old. But my grandmother could. But Mara Dadi Ma Jivta Jata. She was not even sentimental. And once I decided, and once I told her, and once I left for the airport or railway station, she was not sentimental. Sentimental means emotional. Ane matu ke dadi ma emotional thi jase, ane nahi gama upset thi jase. But it never happened. Ane dadi ma Maria pan nahi. Paanch varas pura kari na hai chhe. Dadi ma Maria pan nahi. Ane aajera railway station ne jato to dadi ma ne mukwa aviya. Tere dadi ma emotional pan na thi. Ye guni ke ni akma thi aasu hoya gya. She came to leave me at the railway station, but did not talk or show any emotion. She was not sentimental at all. She did not talk to him. She did not show any emotions. Her lips moved in prayer. Her mind was lost in prayer. Her fingers were busy telling the beads of her rosary. Silently, she kissed my forehead. And when I left, I cherished the moist imprint is perhaps the last sign of physical contact between us. So, what is the letter? I am not going to say that I am 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 But it was not so. That I am going to say that I am going to say that I am going to say that she was not emotional at all. Yeah. She never talked to me. She never showed any emotions. She was constantly busy in praying to God. 
Kenaji lips at that they were constantly moving, reciting an inaudible prayer. Her mind was lost in the prayer. Ane hathma mada thi kavach ne ane mada thi satat satat e mada na man ka pheravya kata tha. Her fingers were busy telling the beats of the rosary. And at the time of parting, vidaya vakte, she just silently kissed the forehead of the writer. Pela na kapar ne ne chumi li tu. When I left and writer tiyan thi jere jai se tiyare, I cherished the moist imprint. Moist means bhinu. Imprint le dadi maya je kapar upar ne je chumbat kare lu hatu te e cherish kar kato. Means he liked it very much. So ka me, perhaps he thought it is the perhaps the last sign. फिजिकल कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन अस ए दिमाग में एवं है कि हूँ अँ जाऊँ छू वी पाँचों पांच वर्ष पी हूँ आईश दादी में मे नॉट बी फिजिकली अवेलेबल फिजिकली प्रेजेंट हियर शी माइट हेव डाइड ऑल्सो बिकॉज शी वॉज वेरी ओल्ड सो ही थॉट दैट दिस इज द लास्ट साइन ऑफ फिजिकल कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन अस बट इट वॉज नॉट सो बट देट वॉज नॉट सो आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स आई केम बेक होम एन वोज मेट बाय हर एट द स्टेशन पांच वर्ष थे लेखक के हूँ पाचो आन अगेन दादी में केम टू रिसीव मेट द रेलवे स्टेशन नाउ सी वॉट ही फाइंड्स इन दादी में शी डीड नॉट लूक अ डे ओल्डर पांच वर्ष पची पादी में हेज रिमेन्ड द सेम ओल्ड शी स्टील हेड नो टाइम फॉर वर्ड्स हि Remembers when Dadi Ma had come to leave me at the railway station five years ago. She did not talk to me, and this day also, she has no time for words. Means she is not talking to me. While she clasped me in her arms, I could hear her reciting her prayers. Dadi Ma said, "Ne, beti pade chen." Dadi Ma joyu kuswant aviyo chen. Dadi Ma ne beti pade. अने तेरे वही पाचा खुशवंत सिंह कान में प्रेयर संभा मीन्स दादी में इज ऑलवेज रिसाइटिंग शी इज नॉट टॉकिंग टू एनी बडी याद है ना टॉकिंग बंद क्यार टॉकिंग क्यार बंद थी दादी में खुशवंत सिंह साथ बात करने शू काम बंद कर दीद वंस खुशवंत सिंह डिक्लेर देट ही हेज बीन लर्निंग म्यूजिक दादी में बिलीव्ड Music has lured the association. It is the business of harlots and beggars. Gentle folk is not meant for music. The other day, I made one carillo. Even for the first day of my arrival, her happiest moments were her sparrows, whom she fed longer and with frivolous rebukes. Dadi ma, in a leva mate railway station aviya. Dadi ma, an writer. They reached home. And very much you Jewish, so what is the routine of the dadima? Routine is one and same. Dadima, mate, you know, just all the whole, just all the time, 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 फ्रीवलस रिब्यूक ए फ्रीवलस रिब्यूक यू अंडरस्टेन्ड घनी वक्त आप शू करता कोई ने खोटू खोटू वी आर नॉट इन सीरियस नॉट सीरियस देट इज फ्रीवलस अने रिब्यूक्स मीन्स आप कोई धमकता हो दादी में अवस्था में था खोटू खोटू चकलीओ ने खीजा था चल हागी जा चल माथा पर चढ़ी बैठी छो चले खाई ले सो देट इज कॉल्ड फ्रीवलस रिब्यूक्स सो वेन द राइटर केम बेक एंड फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट डे वेन ही सो What was the happiest duration of the day for Dadi Ma? Yeah, feeding the sparrows. But the duration has prolonged, and now the frivolous rebukes have also started. Earlier it was not happening. In the evening, a change came over her. Now see, today or tomorrow, Dadi Ma is going to die. Is it? She has been waiting for the arrival of her grandson. In the evening, a change came over her. She did not pray. Instead, she collected the women of the neighborhood, got an old drum, and started to sing. What was the routine of Dadi Ma? Grandma no routine swa to. 
પ્રાર્થના કરવી બટ શી ડીડ નોટ પ્રે ટુ ડે ઇન્સ્ટેડ એણે શું કર્યું શી કલેક્ટેડ ધ વિમિન ઓફ ધ નેબરહુડ આડોશ પાડોશમાંથી જે સ્ત્રીઓ હતી દાદીમાં એને બધાને બોલાવ્યા ગોટ એન ઓલ ડ્રમ એક જૂનું નગારું કે ઢોલ ઢોલ એણે લીધો પંજાબી લોકો ઢોલક વગાડતા હોય છે બે બાજુથી વગાડી શકાય તે ઢોલક એક જૂનો ઢોલ લીધો અને સ્ટાર્ટેડ ટુ સિંગ ફોર સેવરલ આર્સ શી થમ્પ થમ્પ એટલે ઢોલ ઉપર જે હાથથી વગાડવું તે ધ સેગિંગ સ્કીન સેગિંગ નીચે જે લટકતું હોય તે હેંગિંગ ડાઉન એની જે ઢોલમાં જે સાઈડમાં જે પેલું એનું જે લેધર બાંધેલું હોય તે એ સેગિંગ એટલે એ લટકતું હોય છે અને ધીમે ધીમે ધ્રુજતું હોય છે વન્સ યુ તમે એક વખત એને વગાડો એટલે ફોર સેવરલ આર્સ શી થમ્પ એન્ડ સેગિંગ સ્કીન્સ ઓફ ધ ડેલિપીડેટેડ ડ્રમ એન્ડ સેંગ ઓફ ધ હોમ કમિંગ ઓફ વોરિયર્સ વોટ ધ દાદી માઇ હેઝ બીન ડુઈંગ દાદી માએ કેટલાય કલાકો સુધી ઢોલક વગાડ્યા કર આ ડેલિપીડેટેડ ડ્રમ એટલે જૂનું પુરાણું ડેલિપીડેટેડ મીન્સ જૂનું પુરાણું ભાંગેલું તૂટેલું જે ઢોલ હતો એને વગાડ્યા કર્યું અને ગીત શું ગાતા હતા સેંગ ધ હોમ કમિંગ ઓફ વોરિયર્સ અર્લિયર વેન ધ વોરિયર્સ વર રિટર્નિંગ બેક ફ્રોમ ધ બેટલ ફિલ્ડ સમ સોંગ્સ વર બીંગ સંગ બાય વિમેન યુ માઇટ હેવ હર્ડ ધ ફેમસ સોંગ ઓફ ઝવેરચંદ મેઘાણી રક્ત ટપકતી સો સો જોડી સમરાંગણથી આવે દેટ ઇઝ કોલ્ડ ધ હોમ કમિંગ સોંગ સો દાદીમાં કેપ્ટોન સિંગિંગ ધેટ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ હોમ કમિંગ સોંગ્સ ઓફ વોરિયર્સ વી હેડ ટુ પર્સ્વેડ હર અમારે દાદીમાને સમજાવવા પડ્યા ટુ સ્ટોપ ટુ અવોઇડ ઓવર સ્ટ્રેનિંગ મીન્સ યુ વિલ બી એક્ઝોસ્ટેડ દાદીમાં તમે થાકી જશો યુ વિલ બી વેરી મચ ટાયર્ડ ઇફ યુ ડોન્ટ સ્ટોપ નાવ દેટ વોઝ ધ ફર્સ્ટ ટાઈમ સિન્સ આઈ હેડ નોન હર ધેટ શી ડીડ નોટ પ્રે ધ રાઇટર સીઝ ઇઝ ફાર બેક ફ્રોમ માય ચાઇલ્ડહુડ ઇફ આઈ રિમેમ્બર my grandmother always prayed to god in the evening this was for the first time she refused to pray to god and this has happened for the first time in entire my life as far as i i can remember my grandma the next morning she was taken ill as expected she was taken ill the next morning because she was overstrained it was a mild fever and the doctor told us that it would go dimo dimo tava to doctor eu kiye che ke utri jase tava but my grandmother thought differently but grandmother was thinking something else she told us that her end was near see the doctor says it is a mild fever it will go dadi ma says no it will not go it is my end she said that since only a few hours before the close of the last chapter of her life she had omitted to pray she was not going to waste any more time talking to us she told us that it her end was near dadi ma ke jo maro end najik che ane she said that since only last few hours before the close of the last chapter a chillu chapter che ave મતલબ આ છેલ્લી ઘડીઓ છે થોડા કલાકો વિધા છે એન્ડ આઈ ડોન્ટ વોન્ટ ટુ સ્પેર માય ટાઈમ ઓર વેસ્ટ માય ટાઈમ ટોકિંગ ટુ અસ દાદીમાં કહે છે થોડો સમય મારી પાસે વધ્યો છે મારે તમારી હારે વાતો નથી કરવી હવે મારે પ્રાર્થના કરવી છે વી પ્રોટેસ્ટેડ અમે વિરોધ કર્યો બટ શી ઇગ્નોર્ડ અવર પ્રોટેસ્ટ she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her bits family members bada virodh kare che ma you you have to talk to us but she says only few hours are left i don't want to waste my time talking to you and i had omitted the prayer me gai kale prayer nothi kari now i want to engage myself in the prayer the family kept on protesting but she ignored the protest she lay peacefully shanti thi bed ma paida riya praying and telling her beats prarthna karta tha inaudible prayer and telling the beats of her rosary even before we could suspect amne shanka jay eni pehla 
her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from the lifeless fingers. Sankayam ne nagi. What ban thai gya? Mada in energy of angadiyo mati padi gya. A peaceful pallor spread on her face. Peaceful. Ek dam shan. Pallor. Pallor means fading color. Color. Peaceful color spread on her face. And we knew that she was dead. So, when did grandma die? On the very next day, when the grandson came, what do you understand? The grandson had been away for five years. There was a deep bondage between the two, grandma and grandson. And as if she had been waiting for his arrival only. When he arrived, immediately the next day, Grandma is no more. We lifted her off the bed and as is customary, it is a tradition. Customary means it is a tradition. It is a traditional. Laid her on the ground. जे व्यक्ति मरी जाए ना पच्ची ये ने बेड ऊपर ना रहवा दिए ये डेड बॉडी ने ऊपर डी ने ये ने फ्लोर ऊपर मुक दिए इट इस अ ट्रेडिशन इट इस अ कस्टम ऑन द ग्राउंड एंड कवर्ड हर विद रेड स्राउड स्राउड यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इस द क्लोथ इट इस बीन स्प्रेड ऑन द डेड बॉडी दैट इस स्राउड जिने and then we left her alone to make arrangements for her funeral. Funeral, you understand. Antim vidhi jane ke vaite. That is called funeral. Any vidhi karva mata me bada baar ne kada. In the evening, we went to her room with a crude stretcher to take her to be cremated. Sanjana samai, I mean crude means very simple, primary level no je hoi te, crude stretcher, stretcher you understand, pelu, apne je nanami kai ne te, homemade ke evi ri te koi simple evu stretcher lai ne, I mean dadi mana room ma gya, to take her to the cremated, to be cremated, cremated you understand, the burning of the dead body, that is called cremation. ने समसान वो इन्हें क्रीमेटोरियम किए क्रीमेट सड़गावा माटे में डेड बॉडी ने लगी ने सड़गावा माटे ने अंतिम विधि करवा माटे डेड बॉडी ने हमें सिंपल स्ट्रेचर में ले लेवा माटे इना रूम में गया तो सन वाज सेटिंग सूर्य अस्त थवा ने तैयारी में तो ने हेड लीट हर रूम एंड वेरेंडा विथ ब्लेज प्रकाश गोल्डन लाइट जब आमे दादी मने रूम मांगिया तो सूर्य चे अस्त तवानी तैयारी में तलो सूर्य ना किरनो सीधा वेरेंडा ने रूम मावता था सो इट वाज ब्लेज लाइट एंड व्हाट हैपन देर वी स्टॉप्ड हाफ वे इन द कोल्ड यार्ड जब आमे दादी मने डेड बॉडी ने पहला स्ट्रेचर माना कि ने निकड़ा वी स्टॉप्ड हाफ right up to where she lay dead and stiff, wrapped in the red shroud, thousands of sparrow sets scattered on the floor. Dadi mane lewa mate ame na room ma jata ta pelu stretcher lai na, we stopped half way in the cold yard. Phadi ama ame ubari gya. All over the world, aakhi onsri ma, and in a room, right up to where she lay dead and stiff, Lay dead and stiff means dead thayela rahela. That means dead body. Dadi manu je dead body je jagya hai hatu. Wrapped means covered. With red shroud. Right to that place. Thousands of sparrows set scattered on the floor. Hajaro chakaliyo. Astavyatam bethe liyo thi. Scattered. There was no chirping. So many sparrows were there. But they also understood. 
the person who was feeding them now is no more so there is no chirping there is no veritable bedlam it is very peaceful there is no chirping at all we felt sorry for these birds and my mother fetched some bread for them we became very unhappy for these birds so my mother went into the kitchen and fetched some pieces of bread she broke it into little crumbs na 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 took it out the way my grandmother used to and threw it to them my mother went to the kitchen brought some breads make some uh, little crumbs and threw them but sparrows took no notice of the bread chakliyo e a rotli na tukda ho ni same pan na joyu when we carried my grandmother's corpse of corpses dead body ane ame jare dadi manu sab muchke na chaila they flew away quietly all the thousands of sparrows flew away quietly khub shanti thi tya thi nikli gayi the next morning the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dustbin biji savare sweeper આ બધા જે બ્રેડના જે ટુકડાઓ હતા ક્રમ્સ એને ભેગા કરીને ડસ્ટબિનમાં નાખવા પડ્યા સો દિસ ઇઝ રિયલી અ ટચિંગ સ્ટોરી એન્ડ અ ટચિંગ પોર્ટ્રેટ ઓફ ધ ગ્રાન્ડ મધર કુસવંત સિંઘ હેઝ ડિપિક્ટેડ ઇન ધ વેરી નેક્સ્ટ લેક્ચર સી ટુડે આઈ એમ નોટ ગિવિંગ યુ એની કાઇન્ડ ઓફ હોમવર્ક એકચ્યુઅલી આઈ હેવ ટુ ટેક ધ લેક્ચર ઓફ હાઉ ટુ રાઇટ ધ આન્સર સો ધીસ ઇઝ uh homework free lecture for you today yeah but i insist you to read the lesson once or twice or thrice right in the next week i will give the lecture on how to write the answers to the questions so that you don't have to mug up the answer hu evu kai riyo chu ke tamne next lecture ma hu tamne answers kem lakhvane e sikhvis જેથી કરીને તમારે તમારે ખાલી એક લેસન્સ તમારે વાંચવાના રહેશે ને યુ ડોન્ટ હેવ ટુ મગપ તમારે ગોખવા નહીં પડે આન્સર્સને વન્સ યુ ફાઇન્ડ ધ ટેકનિક હાઉ ટુ રાઇડ ધ આન્સર્સ ઇટ વિલ બી વેરી ઇઝી ફોર યુ ટુ રાઇડ ધ આન્સર્સ ઓફ ઇચ એન્ડ એવરી યુનિટ દેટ યુ વિલ લર્ન ઓકે થેન્ક યુ વેરી મચ એન્ડ ડુ ટેલ મી હાઉ ડુ યુ ફાઇન્ડ ધીસ લેક્ચર એન્ડ હાઉ ડુ યુ ફાઇન્ડ ધ સ્ટોરી થેન્ક યુ વેરી મચ